one of my favorite quotes from Tony Robbins is, if you want to influence someone, you want to know what are the things that are already influencing them. So before you create the first piece of content, you want to know who are you talking to. And you also want to know what's their value, what's their dream, what are the things that are already influencing them. So in this video, I want to talk about eight things that are influencing your target audience. So if you know that, you have a better chance to write a really great piece of content, right? So this guy is your target audience. So for each of us, like all human beings, we have two major motivation, right? The first one is we are all, we all chase after pleasure, right? Another one is we all try to move away from pain. So we all want a better lifestyle. We, we all want things that make us feel great, maybe a healthy body. We want to feel happy. We want freedom. Those are the pressure we want to chase after. And the pains, we don't want to feel sad. We don't want to feel angry. We don't want to uh, feel disappointed. Those are the pain. So we all chase after pleasure and we all try to move away from pain. So what are the pains um, people do want to move away from, right? So the first one is fear. So if a guy, if he see a beautiful girl on the street, he was like, wow, the girl was so gorgeous. I really want to know her. But all of a sudden, there's a voice inside his mind say, wait a minute, what if she reject you? Right now, she he got the fear, right? The, the fear is something to stop us from moving forward. Or maybe, maybe you see a really great um, opportunity to invest. But then um, there's a voice say, wait a minute, what if it's a scam? So those are fear. So the fear is something that stops us from moving forward. So your audience will have a lot of fear as well. And that's the reason why we want to understand what are their fears so that you can help them overcome those fears. Another one is struggle. So we all have struggle on, on, on the journey to the promised land. There are so many enemies, right? We have to fight against those struggle. We have to overcome those that. So maybe your audience try to lose weight, right? And, but there's so many, many temptations. There are so many great foods that say, Oh, I, I really want to lose weight, but I really want to eat as well. So if you can create a piece of content, help them overcome those temptations. They will trust you more, right? Or uh, maybe they try to make money online, but they don't just don't know how to start. So you want to know what are their struggles so that you can create the content that can really help them. Another one is enemy. So an enemy doesn't have to be a person. It can be an ideology. It can be a culture, right? So if you know what are their enemy is, you have a better chance to fight for them, to fight with them, right? So if you fight with them, they will feel, wow, you are part of this. You believe what I believe, right? So that's a really powerful leverage you can have. Another one is limiting beliefs. So this one is also something stopping them from moving forward. So they can say, oh, I tried that before. I just cannot do that. So for example, you say, hey, uh, do you know what? If you know how to speak in public, you have a better chance to make more money and influence the world. They were like, I'm too introvert. I, I don't know how to speak, right? But you can actually overcome their limiting belief by telling your story or by telling other people's story. You say, you know what? I used to be really shy as well, but you know what? I learned this, this, this. That's the reason why I can become a public speaker right now. So in order for you to overcome their limiting beliefs, you really want to tell stories, right? So another one is on the pressure side is the dream. What's the thing that envision every day? What if I can have a big house? What if I can travel around the world? Those are their dreams, right? They, they may not tell you um, directly, but sometimes you know um, they, they will envision that. They will it's inside. They will see that, wow, I really want that every day, right? So if you can know their dream, you have a better chance to influence them as well. And also, what are their desire? I want to lose weight. I want a healthy body. I want to quit my nine to five job. So those are desire. So the difference between a dream and a desire is dream is mostly bigger, right? And desire are small one. But those are all things people want. Also, you want to know their value. So value is the opposite of their enemy. So enemy is the what they will fight against. And value is something they will fight for. Maybe they believe in freedom. Maybe they believe in human rights. So you, you, you have to fight with them for the value they, they value, right? So, 
And sometimes the value can be also be things they're going to pay for, right? So they, they value health. That's the reason why when they fix, feel sick, they would go to hospital and pay for that, right? Another one is you want to know their beliefs. So some people, they believe the world is flat, right? So if you want to persuade them, you don't want to argue with them and say, no, you're wrong according to science. No, you want to stand for with them first. Then you can say, hey, you know what? When I was young, I really believed the world is flat. But I, I studied some book and I, I learned this and I learned that. That's the reason why right now I, I think differently. So you want to understand their beliefs and that's the reason why you can influence them. You have to uh, build a trust and build a relationship and make them feel you are part of them first, right? So that's the eight things you have to know before you create your first piece of content. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next video.